So when we think about sex trafficking, we, we think about uh, someone being forced to engage in some kind of sexual behavior due to force, fraud, or coercion. If we would have a situation where, um, let's say, a woman has voluntarily consented to take action in a pornographic film, um, she shows up willingly, she's maybe signed some consent forms or an employment contract or something, and she has maybe listed a set of behaviors, you know, of what she's going to engage in and she's not going to engage in. So up to this point, we say, okay, she's she's a consenting adult, you know, she's participating in this willingly. But if at some point then the directors, the producers, the other people um, acting out these scenes, they decide to switch things up and they say, well, we know you weren't really into this, but we think it's gonna be really good for the viewers. So we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Then at that point, she has been deceived, right? She's, she has um, been defrauded in a way. Certainly, if they force her then to engage in this other set of behaviors or activities, then at that point, she's absolutely being sexually abused and, and being sexually coerced. And so that's why it's so incredibly problematic and I think ludicrous to ever even suggest that people can have a contract for pornography, like an employment contract, because it's not like acting in other ways, because we're talking about something that's so physically intimate and so psychologically intimate as well. And so I, I always find it just so disturbing when people say that um, porn actors have consented to this set of behaviors, because it's like, in what other situation in life would we ever say that it was it was acceptable for someone to just sign a contract for sex before it happened? We would expect there to be that ongoing, active communication with both people checking in constantly. Does this still feel good for you? Are you enjoying this? Pornography isn't about mutual sexual pleasure for the people involved. Um, I really like Dr. Rebecca Wisnant's uh, definition of pornography. She says, you know, pornography isn't about sex at all. Pornography is about sexualizing hierarchy and inequality.